Welcome guys to another Sign Orange review. In this video we're going to talk about the incredible iPad Pro. In this video we also going to talk about the history of the iPad Pro. Also what makes the iPad Pro Pro and Sonia have the opportunity of being using the iPad Pro for a more or less one year? Yeah, more or less a year of being using it. So we're going to make a top four of the main app for artists. Let's begin. The iPad Pro was released in 2015 and it was one of the first professional alternatives for artists who want to draw on the go. It was also the first tablet to combine advanced performance and portability in a unique platform that many professionals need. They sold us the idea for a powerful tablet for those that need something more than an ordinary one and they did it. Since 2015, professionals ranging from businessmen to engineers, from artists to musicians were able to get a powerful tablet that satisfied their needs. Very similar to a laptop but at a much smaller size and also lighter. Now, let's take a look at what this tablet has to offer. What makes the iPad Pro special? The iPad Pro, for starters, has a bigger storage. You can have up to 128GB of capacity, which is ideal for artists or other professionals that rely on big files. The compatibility with the Apple Pencil is great. It allows us to use the iPad as a notebook or a sketchbook. That means you can draw or take notes directly on your tablet. It's true. You can use a regular optical pen with your iPad Pro. However, don't expect the pen to match up to the pressure sensitivity of the Apple Pencil. The pencil has two sensors that allow it to react to both pressure sensitivity and angle, which gives artists the feeling that they are using a real pencil. Also with the iPad Pro, appears on the market for the first time a technology called Smart Connector. This technology consists in pairing up accessories such as the Apple Keyboard automatically by using a magnetic port. So this basically allows you to connect devices without the need of manually setting them up with Bluetooth. Another good thing is that the connection Smart Connector also provides electrical energy to the accessories. That removes the need of batteries in the keyboards, for example. The iPad Pro also has one of the best CPUs on the market. That's why it's an excellent choice for us artists. We need a lot of CPU power so that our illustrations can perform smooth and correctly with many layers. Now, let's talk about our experience using the iPad Pro so far. First, I want to remind you that my iPad is of the first generation. It's the biggest one of 12.9 inches, it has 128GB of storage and 4GB of RAM, and I've been using this iPad for about a year and a half. Let's start with some of the nice features that come with the iPad Pro. The screen size, for example, is incredible. Yes, I love it. It's a big screen, all right. It allows artists like us to have a nice working area, where you can visualize both your canvas and your tools. It also provides plenty of space when you divide your screen in half. This is very useful. Sonia, for example, loves to use one half of the screen for references and the other for drawing. I also like to use the iPad Pro for references only. I set it up next to me almost like a second screen at my working studio. Now let's talk about the battery. The iPad Pro can last around 10 to 15 hours depending on how you use it. If you're painting on it with apps like Procreate, it can last around 10 hours. If you're just using it for references and the like, it can last up to 15 hours. Moving on to the Apple Pencil, the design of the pencil is beautiful. It is a light and beautiful pen that feels nice to use. The battery of the pencil can charge very fast, especially if the iPad is on and running. More or less, 30 seconds is 30 minutes of battery life. The storage of the iPad Pro is also excellent. We use the iPad Pro to store high-quality PDFs for reference pictures and to keep a nice library at hand. Another nice thing about iOS and the iPad Pro are the exclusive apps. One of the best apps only available on the iPad Pro is Procreate. We will talk about this app later in the video. Now, let's move on to the bad things about the iPad Pro. One drawback of Apple, and the iPad Pro is no exception, is the excessive price for the accessories. You can find the keyboard at prices that go beyond 100 US dollars, which is, in our opinion, way too expensive. Another bad habit of Apple, and I was affected by it recently, were the updates. Bad updates that kill the performance of tasks like dividing the screen really gets to me. Many of you remember the iPhone scandal, decreasing on purpose the longevity of your phone with new updates. Come on, Apple. 
So remember guys, I think twice before I decide to update my iPad. Procreate Procreate is the exclusive drawing app for iPad Pro and has become one of the most important apps in the actual market. It has an excellent interface that is very user friendly, excellent tools for both drawing and painting, and we have noticed it has improved a lot with every update that has been released. You will find the familiar blending modes that us users of Photoshop love. This app also allows you to create your own custom brushes, very similar to Photoshop, and it comes with the option of creating your own time lapse. We as artists love to create a quick time lapse of our process so we can instantly share it through our social networks and Procreate has made it easier to do that. Another good thing about Procreate is its price. Very reasonable price for an amazing drawing app and the license for the product stays on forever. In closing, Procreate is an essential app for any artist that have an iPad Pro. Medibank Paint it is surprising that Metabang Paint is one of the least known apps for the iPad Pro. Why? It's excellent. Yes, it's a good drawing app, and the most surprising thing is, it's free. That's right, free. You don't even have to pay anything to use it, and this app's interface is very close to Photoshop. Also, you can add text in this app. One thing Procreate, for example, lacks. We just couldn't believe we didn't have to pay for it. I mean, how? Well, we know they have to earn money somehow and we later discovered that this app has a very small amount of ads. However, we only notice that they pop up in the main menu, never while you're drawing, so it is barely noticeable. We also notice Metabank Paint is building its own gallery like DeviantArt, so that could be another reason that it's free. The only bad thing about Metabank Paint in relation to the iPad Pro is that it lacks the recognition of the Apple Pencil sensitivity. If you want the shading that gives the feeling of a traditional pencil, you'll have to go to other apps like Procreate or Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. Autodesk Sketchbook Pro We couldn't leave this one out of our top four, the app that Autodesk brings to iPad Pro. This app offers a free version that is decent. However, it can be too simple for professional artists, especially comparing it to Procreate. If your needs require more advanced tools, Autodesk offers its special package of Pro Tools at a very cheap price. So what does this Pro Tools package have? Well, for starters, you can get 170 additional brushes. You can also get advanced transform options like distort transform and the option to use gradient fill, which is nice. And also it gives the user the option to record the process just like in Procreate in the format of time lapse. These tools definitely give an extra punch to this app, especially for professional artists in the technical drawing field. Why? Autodesk Sketchbook is one of the few apps that contain advanced symmetry tools and rulers, ideal for technical drawings. However, one thing we didn't understand is why Autodesk left out its famous perspective guide out of the app for the iPad Pro. You can use this guide on the PC version, but really Autodesk? Adobe Sketch. And finally, the app that Adobe has in store for the iPad Pro. It is also free and gives additional options if you're a subscriber of any plan on Creative Cloud. It is a very basic app for drawing. You open it and its interface is quite simple. It doesn't have advanced blending modes like color dodge and the transformation options are also quite simple. You cannot add text either, but it does have two things that are quite interesting that make this app worth the space in your iPad Pro. Number one, the perspective guide. It's funny that this app from Adobe has an excellent perspective guide and the one from Autodesk doesn't even have one. We find this guide very intuitive to use and we consider it better than the one you find in Procreate. The other nice thing about this app is its watercolor tool. We have never seen an app that so well resembles real watercolor. You can spend hours just in awe at how the colors mix as if the media were actually wet. You can also dry the painting to leave the desired watercolor effect if you want. However, in general, keep in mind that this is a very simple app if we compare it to the other three on our list. The iPad Pro is an incredible drawing tool for artists that need something powerful on the go. Exactly. If any of you is interested in buying the iPad Pro, we're going to give you some final recommendations. Number one, the iPad Pro comes pretty much naked. You're not going to get it with a case, for example. We recommend that you buy one. You need to protect the screen and you need to be able to carry it around comfortably. So get one of these. Number two, get a pencil case. My case, I have this one that I store around my glove, which we're gonna be talking about that later. My pencil, a regular drawing pen. So get also one of these. Number three, the drawing glove. 
The drawing block is essential for any artist. Some of them use it even in traditional art, but for an iPad Pro it is essential because you don't want to get all greasy or smudgy the screen while you're drawing. The constant rubbing of your hand against the screen will eventually turn the screen all smudgy like I was saying and even with the glove this happens but with the glove it will happen less uh, frequently. We do consider the iPad Pro is an expensive tablet especially if you buy all the accessories with it. Exactly, we do not recommend this tablet for beginners this tablet is meant more for advanced artists, artists that need something more on the go, even more portable than already a laptop. So this is kind of like a notebook for digital artists. So this is it, we have concluded this review, we hope you have enjoyed it. So if you have any questions or any comment, don't forget to write it in the comment section below. Well guys, see you on our next video, bye!